having a ticking time bomb beneath your feet. So, why are these unexploded? When you think you of Germany, the first thing that probably comes to 16 years old, that's a five year gap compared to the United States. I bet some of you that are already raising an eyebrow. Welcome back. So today we are unboxing 12 shocking facts you've never heard about Germany. It's going to be a discovery, guys, so sit tight. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? As you do that, let's get right into this video, guys. Germany, a nexus of innovation and tradition in the heart of Europe, is home to a tapestry of captivating secrets. Today, join us as we unravel 12 oh, shocking beautiful. facts that will undoubtedly class. broaden your understanding of this European powerhouse. From unconventional customs to astonishing technological feats, this exploration will guide you through the lesser known facets of Germany, offering a fresh perspective that goes beyond the ordinary. So let's delve into the enigmatic world of Germany and discover a side you've never encountered before. Germany, officially I'm known ready. as the Federal Republic of Germany, is situated in the Western part of Central Europe. It's the second most populous country in Europe, right after Russia and holds the title of the most populous member state of the European Union. Geographically, Germany is like a patchwork quilt, bordered by Denmark to the north, Poland and the Czech Republic to the east, Austria and Switzerland to the south, and France, Luxembourg, Belgium, and the Netherlands to the west. It's like being at the crossroads of cultures, and that diversity is part of what makes Germany so fascinating. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Various Germanic tribes have called Germany home since ancient times. The region, known as Germania, dates back to before AD 100. Fast forward to 962, and we see the formation of the Kingdom of Germany, a major player in the Holy Roman Empire. The 16th century brought about a significant change. Northern German regions became the heart of the Protestant Reformation. After the Napoleonic Wars and the end of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, the German Confederation was born in 1815, setting the stage for the formal unification of Germany. Then, on August 18, 1866, the North German Confederation Treaty was signed, laying the groundwork for the birth of the German Empire in 1871. However, oh, wow. the road to modern Germany so wasn't without its twists and turns, including the turbulent times of World War I, the German Revolution, and the rise of the Nazi regime. After World War II, Germany found itself divided into two separate entities, West Germany, officially the Federal Republic of Germany, and East Germany, the German Democratic Republic. The Berlin Wall stood as a symbolic division the left until the right on October 3, 1990 bringing the nation back together. Today, Germany stands tall as a global powerhouse. With the largest economy in Europe and the world's third largest by nominal GDP, Germany is a force to be reckoned with. It's a leader in industrial, scientific, and technological sectors, boasting the third greatest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But it's not all about industry and history. Germany is a developed country that cares for its citizens. It offers social security, a universal healthcare system, and even tuition-free university education. No wonder yeah, it's a member of prestigious international organizations like the United Nations, European Union, NATO, and more. Number one, the legal drinking age is 16. We all know that different That's countries have different rules when it comes to alcohol, but Germany takes things to a whole new level. In Germany, you can start sipping on undistilled alcoholic beverages, like wine and beer when you're just 16 years old. That's a five-year gap compared to the United States. I bet some of you that are already raising an eyebrow. So yes, what's the deal? I am. Well, the German law allows teenagers, starting from the age of 16, to enjoy the lighter side of alcohol. You know, the good old wine and beer without needing their parents by their side. It's like a rite of passage into the world of responsible drinking. When it comes to distilled spirits, the game changes. Germans, young and eager, still have to exercise patience and wait until they hit the big one that's 18 for those keeping track at home. So, while you can enjoy that frothy beer at 16, the stronger stuff will have to wait until you're officially an adult. It's like a boozy countdown to freedom. Number two. 1,000 different types of sausages. When you think you of Germany, the first thing that probably comes to mind is their delicious sausages. But did you- Did I just hear 1,000? Like, wait, wait, wait. Is this some kind of exaggeration or they truly have 1,000 different types of sausage? 
I want to see that, guys. You know that the variety is so vast that it surpasses the imagination? Over 1,000 different types of sausages. Each one is a unique flavor experience waiting to be explored. Let's I'm on start my way with to the jam, heavy hitters, guys. the sausages that have made a name for themselves <laughs> on the global stage. We've got the classics like Bratwurst, Weisswurst, Frankfurter, Knackwurst, and Teewurst. These aren't just names, they are a journey into a world of savory delights. Mm. Each variety has its own distinct characteristics, and the secret lies in the blend of spices used to flavor them. Wow. Here's a pro tip for anyone planning to visit Germany. Don't just stop at the classics. Explore the local markets, butcher shops, and street vendors to discover regional specialties. From Nuremberger Rostbratwurst to Currywurst, the options are endless. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you for the culinary adventure. Number three, highest smartphone usage in the world. According to a 2020 analysis by Newzoo, Germany stands out as the leader when it comes to smartphone adoption. Out of the 83.9 million people in the country, a whopping 67.14 million are smartphone users, giving Germany wow, an impressive smartphone penetration rate of 80%. Just to put that into perspective, let's compare it to other major players in the smartphone game. The United States boasts a smartphone penetration rate of 72.1%, and over in China, it's 59.9%. Germany is outpacing them both, making it a true mobile-first nation. So. I was actually expecting China to be high for reasons I choose to keep <laughs> confidential. Wow, this is a discovery for real. What's driving this smartphone revolution in Germany? Well, it turns out that most locals are tapping into the digital world through popular carriers like Telecom, Vodafone, or O2. These giants dominate the German mobile landscape, providing reliable services to millions. Number four. Numerous unexploded bombs in Germany. World War II had a profound impact on many countries, and Germany was no exception. Even decades after the war, remnants still pose a threat, and one surprising fact is that more than 2,000 tons of unexploded bombs are discovered in Germany each year. That's like having a ticking time bomb beneath your feet. So, why are these unexploded bombs still causing a buzz in Germany? Well, it turns out that before any construction project kicks off, whether it's a new building or a road, experts have to play bomb detectives. Before a single shovel hits the ground, experts meticulously scan the area, making sure it's bomb-free. Imagine having to check every inch of land before building a house. It's like playing real-life Minesweeper. The German government takes this matter seriously. They have dedicated units specifically trained for bomb disposal. These experts work tirelessly to neutralize the threats and keep the public safe. It's a challenging job, but someone's gotta do it. Number five, prison escape is not illegal in the country. You might have you heard of some talking. unusual laws around the world, but Germany takes it to a whole new level. Picture this, what if I told you that in Germany, escaping from prison is not actually illegal? The land of sausages, beer, and efficiency has a surprising philosophy when it comes to prison breaks. Unlike most countries, Germany doesn't slap you with extra charges just for trying to make a run for it. Why on earth would they allow something like that? Well, it's all rooted in a rather fascinating philosophy. In Germany, the powers that be consider the desire for freedom and escape to be a basic human instinct. So, when someone tries to break free, they aren't automatically hit with charges for attempting an escape. Number six, tallest church in the world. Meet the Ulmminster, standing proud at a staggering 161.5 meters or 530 feet. They're actually giving me reasons to travel to Germany already. Like, I feel like teleporting down there and experiencing all of these things for myself. Like, I love everything I'm hearing, guys. Oh, that's right, folks. 530 feet of architectural brilliance. This masterpiece was intentionally designed to surpass the Cologne Cathedral, which itself is no slouch at 157.4 meters or 516.4 feet. Why build it so tall, you ask? It turns out that this was a bit of friendly competition. The folks behind the Ulm Minster wanted to outdo the Cologne Cathedral by a couple of meters. It's like a historic game of architectural one-upmanship. Imagine the dedication and skill it took to achieve such heights back in the day. 
But it's not just about the height. The Ulmminster is a marvel of Gothic architecture. As you step inside, you're greeted by awe-inspiring stained glass windows, intricate sculptures, and a sense of grandeur that truly stands the test of time. It's not just a church, it's a living testament to the craftsmanship of its builders. Mm. Number seven, Germany is home to 25,000 castles. If you're someone who loves the allure of towering turrets, ancient walls, and the echoes of history, Germany is mm. your dream destination. Our castle journey begins in the Thuringian Forest, a region that offers a unique twist to your castle hunting adventure. But what sets Germany apart is the famous Wartburg Castle in Eisenach. Not only is it one of the most renowned castles in the country, but it also holds a special place in history. It's where Martin Luther translated the New Testament into German for the first time. Talk about a castle with a story to tell. The Swabian Alb in southwest Germany a region where nature and history collide. The landscape is adorned with spectacular fortresses, creating a scene straight out of a fairy tale. The crown jewel of castle spotting has to be the Middle Rhine Valley in the west of Germany, because within a mere 60 kilometers between Bingen and Koblenz, you'll find an incredible stretch of 40 well-preserved castles. It's like a castle paradise. The Upper Middle Rhine Valley achieved UNESCO World Heritage status in June 2002, becoming the first German cultural landscape to receive this prestigious honor. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know there are 25,000 castles in Germany? Well, it's a bit tricky since there are no official statistics on this. But based on estimates, that's the jaw-dropping number we're looking at. So, you can imagine the sheer variety and history waiting to be explored. Number 8. Largest car producing countries in the world. That's when it comes to cars, Germany is an absolute heavyweight. Just think yeah. about it. Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen. These names are practically synonymous with precision engineering and automotive excellence. But did you know that these German manufacturers collectively churn out over 11 million cars every single year? What makes it even more impressive is that a whopping 6 million of those cars are actually produced right here in Germany itself. Yes. You heard that right. Germany is a car production powerhouse, cranking out millions of vehicles with the precision and efficiency that they're so renowned for. German cars are not just about speed and sleek designs, they're also about trust. The reliability and robust construction of German cars are downright notorious, and it's this reputation that makes them a favorite among drivers worldwide. You've probably heard the saying, Germans don't play when it comes to cars, and it's true. German car manufacturers are at the forefront of technological advancements, from electric vehicles to autonomous driving. They're not just keeping up with the times, they're setting the pace. And this commitment to staying ahead of the curve is a big reason why they consistently produce some of the most sought-after cars globally. Number 9. A highway system with no speed limits. Picture this. The open road stretching out before you, the wind tousling your hair, and the freedom to hit the accelerator without any speed limits holding you back. Now, if that I'm sounds dangerous. like a dream come true, Germany's Autobahn is the place to be. You see, approximately 65% of Germany's highways make up the famous Autobahn system. It's a network of roads that's not only efficient, but also known for its unique feature, the absence of general speed restrictions. Now don't get too carried away with the idea of pushing your pedal to the metal indefinitely. Contrary to the popular belief that the Autobahn is a speed demon's paradise, excessive and dangerous speeds can indeed get you into trouble. The German authorities take safety seriously, and they're not shy about pulling over those who choose to treat the Autobahn like a racetrack. Despite what some might believe, not every stretch of the Autobahn is without speed limits. Construction zones, urban areas, and other specific sections do have speed restrictions in place. So it's not a free-for-all everywhere, but when you hit those unrestricted zones, it's an experience like no other. Number 10, a land of inventions. We all know Germany for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and of course, its sausages. But did you know that this European powerhouse has been the birthplace of some game-changing inventions that have shaped our modern world? Let's take a look at a few mind-blowing creations that originated right here in Germany. 
First up on our list are X-rays. The ability to peek inside our bodies without invasive procedures was revolutionized by German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895. Next, we have diesel engines. Ever wondered what powers those mighty machines, ships, and even some cars? Thank Rudolf Diesel, a German inventor, for introducing the world to these efficient and powerful engines. Zooming in, literally, let's talk about electron microscopes. The ability to see objects at the tiniest scale was made possible by German engineers Ernst Ruska and Max Knoll in the 1930s. Their invention opened up a whole new world of understanding the microcosmos, and it's still a crucial tool in scientific research today. Who doesn't love their favorite tunes? Well, you can thank German engineers for the MP3 format. Karl-Heinz Brandenburg and his team developed the technology that revolutionized the music industry, allowing us to carry thousands of songs in our pockets. The magnetic tape recorder, a cornerstone in audio recording technology, was brought to life by German engineer Fritz Pfleumer. From music to voice recordings, Germany played a significant role in shaping how we capture and replay sounds. Number 11, free education for all. Education can be a hefty investment, but not in Germany. In this country, not only do locals enjoy tuition-free education, but international students are also welcomed with open arms and wallets. Germany's commitment to accessible education is deeply rooted in its culture. Public universities in Germany receive significant funding from the government, allowing them to offer tuition-free education. That's this means amazing. students can focus I on learning so. without the burden of crushing student loans. Number 12. Beer is sacred in the state of Bavaria. You may have heard that Germans love their beer, but in Bavaria, it takes on a whole new level of significance. Believe it or not, beer is not just a drink here. It's considered a food. Imagine telling your doctor, I'm just having a hearty meal of beer tonight. In Bavaria, beer is so ingrained in the culture that it seeps into every aspect of life. It's not just for the weekends or special occasions, it's a daily companion. On average, an impressive 150 liters of beer are consumed per person annually in Bavaria. That's like swimming in a pool of golden goodness. And here's a fun fact for you. About half of Germany's breweries are nestled right here in this charming region. And let's not forget about Oktoberfest, the world's largest Volksfest, beer festival. It's an explosion of beer, pretzels, and traditional Bavarian music, attracting millions of visitors from around the globe. This commitment to quality has made Bavaria synonymous with exceptional beer worldwide. So next time you're sipping on a Bavarian brew, remember, you're not just having a drink, you're partaking in a centuries old tradition. And there you have it, folks. The surprising and delightful fact that in the state of Bavaria, beer is truly sacred. If you enjoyed learning about this unique aspect of German culture, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing facts, and as they say in Bavaria, Prost! Until next time, cheers. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna use that on you guys. Prost, until next time, cheers. I actually enjoyed watching this. It's actually a discovery. Some things I know before, some of them are actually new to me, like the tallest building and the 1,000 different types of sausages, like mind-blowing. I was literally salivating, guys. I was almost teleporting from here to Germany to have a taste of what it feels like guys thank you for sitting up to this time and let me get your take on this one is this complete is this accurate keep it coming in my comment section and until next time hit the subscribe bell and bye bye frost <laughs>